Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to Thursday Theorist. Today we are still on the Bachman train and we are do actually last week we didn't do Bachman, so we we stepped we took a <laughs> took a break from the Bachman train and we did um not four season. Four past midnight. Today we're doing another Bachman book and it is road work. Um I did a review for road work yesterday. I will link that review down there in the doobly-doo, but I wanted to talk about spoilers this time. Um, and if you're if you're around and you don't want spoilers, first off, this series is nothing but spoilers for all of Stephen King's work. So if you have a problem with that, please click away now. Okay, so in Road Work, uh, Barton Dawes, he, he goes, he, some say it's a slow descent into madness, but I think there's a there's a definite point where he snaps, um, and I think that's at, right at the beginning, uh, right at the, uh, right at the point when Mary, he's talking to Mary on the phone, and Mary is very flippant. Um, he can tell that she's just like, yeah, yeah, I get this conversation over with. Um, I think at that point is when he finally loses his mind, as far as it's gone. Now, is he crumbling throughout? Yeah, but it's never, I mean, it's it never escalates, I don't think, because from the jump from the very first page he's talking to Freddy, um, which is the, uh, his alter, not really alter ego, but it's also his son's middle name, it's, it's, it's a mess inside this dude's head. But what I found fascinating this time around was the emotional weight of the story that I think a lot of people miss when they read this. Um, even I missed it the first two times. I just kind of blew it off. But having been married for almost 20 years now, I see you know, I, I see more of where Dawes is coming from. I see more of where, where Mary's coming from. You know, would you put up with that kind of thing? When is the, when is the, when do you find the straw that broke the camel's back? You know, what is the straw that broke the camel's back? The, those are things that really fascinated me this time around to see how long Mary puts up with it. Um, and of course she has the first initial meltdown. Um, but then she hangs around for a little while in, you know, in Dawes' life and you, you see a lot more of her inability to let go and then as soon as she is able to let go and move on, that's when Dawes loses it. Um, I, I understand completely where Dawes comes from with burning your own life to the ground, trying to um, find find yourself in that process, you know, are you just, you know, a, wor a worker bee? Are you just that person? Um, and the, what is it, is it Vinny, I think, that he tries to, t tries to talk out of uh, being a lackey for the man kind of deal, and I understand that, but you got to do what you got to do. You got to feed your family, you got to, you have to support yourself, you have to survive, um, but there is something to be said about having a little self-respect along the way. And I, I appreciated that aspect of the story. While I do not wholeheartedly agree that you should, you know, just burn down your life and start over again, or burn down your life and just give up once you realize these things, I do, uh, this time I did understand where Dawes was coming from, whereas the first two times I couldn't care less. Um, now, as far, this is the fun part, um, and why you guys are here, so let's talk about the Thursday Theorist aspects of it. What ties into the Dark Tower, what ties into the Kingverse? So, um, right off the bat, uh, I thought it was extremely funny that he would tie it as tie it to the King verse as hard as he did, because this is a Bachman book. Um, the, the Mangler um, is mentioned on page 389 of this version of the book, um, and The Mangler is a short story from Stephen King. It's about a, a laundry machine or press or folding machine, something like that, that uh, that's sentient, that, you know, tears people to pieces. Uh, another thing, on page 431, he literally says, uh, Dawes in some, uh, not narration, but uh, in some dialogue says, maybe I'm off the beam. Uh, King does this again in Misery and throughout the, th even in the Gerald's Game movie, I don't remember that it's in Gerald's Game, but I remember in the Gerald's Game movie, the husband actually says, you know, maybe I'm off the beam. And off the beam seems to be both a, it's like an, I don't know if you'd be considered an idiom, but something to say that, you know, maybe I'm off the path kind of deal, um, which is, you know, maybe I'm straying away from normal, but here it is. Uh, another thing that I thought was funny is, and I didn't catch this until right up to the end, um, the hard tie-in, I think, 
I think the hard tie-in for the Dark Tower, if you if you don't consider off the beam, if you consider that just a throwaway thing, 784 Interstate, 7 plus 8 is 15, 15 plus 4 is 19, unless I'm just horribly bad at math, 19 pops up again. And 19 is a huge, huge thing in the Dark Tower series, it's a huge theme. Um, let's see here. Now, one thing I wanted to talk about that I didn't want to talk about in the review is the amount of grammatical errors in this book. I mean, holy shit. I went through this and it's like reading a, a free indie book that you grab on Amazon. It was so bad. And I wanted to uh, point out a couple things. Let's see here. Uh, let's see, Roadwork 367. I'm going to just give you an example of what some of these are. These are three errors in one page. So, uh, the phone was picked up on the second ring and male voice said, and male voice. There's no other words there. Um, then down a little bit further it says, what's that, with no punctuation, no question mark, no period, nothing. Um, and then toward the bottom of the page it says, Merv Griffin was chatting with celebrities when got home. <laughs> and there's a lot of stuff like that. There is an error on almost every single page. And I'm not exaggerating. It's funny, and I wonder, um, but toward the end of the book, toward the second half of the book, not toward the end, but toward the second half of the book, it gets really, really clean. And you don't find anything. And I'm wondering if maybe Tabby was out of town or something for like the first half of the book, or maybe the second half, because Tab Tabitha works is like his number one editor. She always does the first draft. Nowadays, I think Joe Hill does a lot of his stuff. Um, but the, and I think maybe even Owen might help. I'm not sure. Um, and I say, let, leave them boys alone. Let them write their own stuff. Um, anyways, so the, but I was, I was shocked by how many errors there are because you just don't find that many errors. Now, yes, early King, you're going to find a typo here and there. You're going to find missing words, missing letters, all that stuff, because he worked on a typewriter, and they per after a certain period of time, they pretty much just accepted whatever he, he brought in, because it was usually going to be clean and decent. And I'm wondering if that's what happened here. I don't know, but I, thought, I, I found it really shocking that there were so many errors, especially when Rage and uh, The Long Walk are so clean. Um, and yes, again, I know there are errors in their books in that book, but it's not there's not an error on every single page like this one. Um, finally, next week we're going to be doing the Running Man. Um, so that that one it, we may or may not have an episode next week um, because it is I'm going to try and read it slowly like this one, only so many pages, and I hope to get it done by next Wednesday so I can do a review followed by Thursday Theorist. If you don't see a Thursday Theorist, I will still have a video up, but I'm apologizing in advance because I'm not 100% sure I'm going to be able to get through it in a week because I have a lot of other things going on, okay? Um, so I'm apologizing in advance if you don't see me. But did I miss anything in road work? This time I'm going to go ahead and say I don't think I did, but if I did, I'm not... But basically what I'm saying is I didn't specifically leave anything out for you guys to find like I normally do. Um, but if I missed anything, let me know in the comments down below. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been Thursday Theorist. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!